it's it's just incredible and I'm just I'm just blown away and also I do must I must have to give credit to my birth mother as well because this couldn't have been done solely just me um, so yeah it's it's phenomenal phenomenal what difference will it make to children born of rape I think I only hope that at the very least hearing my story, hearing about my case, hearing about my birth father being convicted and now this law change, just at the very, very least, people understand that they're not alone. I think it's a trauma, a circumstance which is still so taboo, which is why I think I've had such a struggle. Um, there's so much shame, secrecy, there's no identified community. So at the very least, I hope somebody sees this story and goes, I'm not alone. When I reported the crime, it wasn't recorded. The police did not keep me informed. The way I was treated was disgraceful. And there's a lot of improvements needed. Um, but to be visible in the criminal justice system, which I didn't have that, I had to fight, I had to advocate. I was treated appallingly. I was patronised, I felt bullied, I was oppressed by organisations. When you were trying to get the police to pursue your birth father for the rape of your birth mother, when she herself was a child, she was 13, you said to them, look, I'm, I'm essentially a walking crime scene. I am DNA evidence. Yeah. I am the living, breathing proof of a child being raped. I am, I represent one of the worst things that can happen to a woman. You know, there's references to rapist spawn, rape baby, children of the dust is one from internationally. There's such a um, product of rape. I find that really dehumanising. What effect would you say being born as a result of rape has had on you and your life? I do not have a non-traumatised example of myself. I was gestating in a body of an abused child, an abused child. Pre after birth, we were separated at seven days. I was left, who's looking after a baby in that time, that's a rape victim's baby who's been shamed during her delivery. The child is shamed. Giving birth to a baby from rape is just horrific. So even during the delivery, can you imagine what the stress, the anxiety should have been going through? Terrifying. We're then separated. I'm alone for three days. In hospital. In hospital. Who knows who's looking after me? That is damaging. I'm then picked up by strangers. Strangers who I'm with for seven months. Strangers who wanted to keep me. These are foster carers. Foster carers. Wanted to keep me. Social services said no. I used to go to a family with no other children. My family had two children, but was, I was still placed with them. I would have been put through their grieving. They wanted to keep me. Can you imagine? You've got a baby, seven months, you've picked up from hospital, you've tried to adopt them, but you can't. You now have to send that baby away. So that's my second set of parents. So you tracked down your birth mother's rapist, you battled with the police. The rapist was eventually convicted and jailed for 11 years. Your campaign to get children conceived as a result of rape, uh, recognised officially as victims, has been successful. You did all this. You did it. What motivated you? Such a deep sense of injustice. Knowing that I was right. Knowing that he was a risk to other children. That was awful thinking that. And feeling a sense of responsibility. I work with women with, there's high levels of sexual violence. I see the outcome, I see what they're having to deal with. The fact that he's perpetrated once is bad enough. The fact that authorities knew and did nothing is just sickening. I would never, I would, I would do it until the day I died. I would keep pursuing it. What would you say to anyone watching right now who's listening to you and who feels that there is an injustice that they want to pursue, but they feel it's just them against the world and, and how can they? I would encourage anybody, anybody to fight for justice. If you're like me, it's not going to go away. You'll be carrying it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. 
Daisy's extraordinary achievement. And if you've been affected by any of the issues raised in the film, please do consider contacting the BBC's Action Line. If we can help tell your story, please email us at newsnight at bbc.co.uk.